another thing, and I do think it's important not to get drunk in this success. Oh, yeah. so, uh, try and jump and step away from Butler, but at the end of the day, he's, he's had it hard in his Si si Paul Butler ang makakaharap ni Angas ng Pinas, Jan Riel Casimero, sa December 11. Kung haya natin ang latest na laban ni Butler kay Willie Baldo Garcia. Ang laban ay naganap noong June 25, 2021. Ahead of this assignment, and the media and plenty of it. How educated that is! What I've seen of Garcia, and, and you know, what Butler will be aware of, is that he just like does this. He just fires regardless if you hit him, he just fires back. So and will I feel you just not not to get too greedy with that. Otherwise, Sonny Edwards knows what it's uh, all about. Being faced by a pressure fighter, where. Psychologically, Sonny did it so marvellously against Umta Lani and Paul Butler, who has been so good defensively, has generally been, been able to deal with that in the past. I think it's fair to say, Barry. Oh, I, 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 I watched him from pretty much his first fight up until he won the, won the World Title and covered most of his career, but he's been sublime in, in some fights, he really has. Sinking some shots in here, Garcia, though. He got through of a couple. Garcia is another thing, and I do think it's important not to get too. too Drunk in the success. Oh, yeah. so, try jumping up, step away. But the wheels away in Delance Di Lanze. Signature left to the opportunity. Steve Gray uh, demands oh, that Garcia defends himself. He's been clipped again, and Paul Butler can hardly miss through the first couple of minutes. And he's been uh, sliced in with a couple of right hands to the body uh, uh, as well. That was so good from Butler. Sorry, Alex. That was good from Butler. Then he didn't. Then he walked back. Just before he took a step back, he jumped and then took a step back with it, just to realign himself. And Garcia is not taking really any scoring shots away clean. He's a great. Boy. Terrific body shots again from uh, Butler, and you can see him really focused even up there in defence. I don't want just to block these shots. And all that's going through your head, Butler here, is I'm going to let you throw out as much as you want on my arms whilst you're not landing. You're going to tire yourself out. And, and more than that, show me a gap. Then we spoke to Liam Smith. Uh, earlier, uh, the night that Paul Butler made his debut at the Echo Arena some 11 years ago, actually on the night that Liam's brother Paul Smith fought James De Gale for the, the British Super Middleweight title. That seems an awful long time ago, doesn't it? Fight here, as good as he's looking, Butler. Garcia is going to continue. It's, it's kind of a more of a rarity seeing a Mexican, yeah. you know, shredded down. This coming great shape for this fight. And a little nod there. He took a left. He took another shot, didn't he? Yeah, but see it. Him the it just with judges scoring this fight, not just the referee. He just smiled at it though, Garcia. <laughs> he is prepared to walk through anything. And there's uh, no tonight. fear. <laughs> He's not fighting with one ounce of fear, Garcia, and you can see that. But even if shots are slipping through, well, he's happy catching them. Well, I think as long as he can, yeah, as long as he can see him, he knows that he can't be hurt by him. I'm pretty sure of that. This should be a, a notable scar for if Paul Butler could stop Garcia. And Garcia coming out, throwing just about everything. And oh, a huge shot. uppercut there, managed to sneak through the guard. And Barry's worried uh, about Paul Butler. And from, from Butler. And it's so hard to... Body shot there from Garcia. It is, but he's not putting anything into the shots, is he? You know, he's not, he's not no speed in the punch, he's not putting any weight behind him, so I think he probably can, you know? But I think though, when he is throwing the shots, Garcia, I shot him. Leapt into that left too, didn't he, Butler? Garcia can, can he has been the distance with the likes of uh, Alejandro Barrios, who weekly better fighters, and he also uh, went the distance ten rounds with Dwayne Beeman as well, who was stopped in, I think, nine by one Francisco Estrada. So gives you an idea. He has been the distance with some decent guys who operated at world level even although he himself is some way off that what he has brought thus far is <laughs> world class uh, be fair well Garcia works off your work doesn't he that's what happens so you win, win. but in, in a sadistic sort of way so you hit him you, you gotta you gotta hurt him or hit him first before he go will let his hands go and it will be interesting if the tide does start turning and Garcia as we resume the action with a minute to go 
What a division this is though, boys. <laughs> I'm afraid. Anyway, it was spectacular again. Those left hooks to the uh, the body against Das Marinas uh, the other weekend. You've got uh, Peter two Pan. Second, Peter Pan. Well, yeah, Donaire, <laughs> who was in that fight of 2019 against Anyway. He's going to face Casemiro in the middle of August. And Casemiro brings it, doesn't he? He's like a really good version of Garcia. Yeah. He's half mad as well, Casimero, which I really like. Yeah. But, I mean, th there's no easy fight for Butler. You know, he's trying to get back to world class. There is no easy fight for Butler, but at the end of the day, he's, he's had it hard in his career. Best one to fight the best. Is it a case, Barry, of just continue doing what's working? I think he's, I think he's boxing well. I don't think there's anything to, to worry about. We're all, we're all, I think we're all sort of panicking now. What ifs? But at the minute, we have to see what's in front of us, and Gaz has been quite relentlessly positive oh, yeah, from, yeah. from Butler. Because I was, I was, I was really slated you in your last fight. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, he does it to people to not be deterred when you miss it. Isn't the highest. He doesn't matter if he's hitting arms, yeah. top of the head, there's body. No, there's no plan. As long as there's some sort of target he's landing. Yeah, sure. he, so really, Butler should probably open up the gap that little bit more to make him fall in no man's land, that, that middle area. So there was a little bit of a faint there. I think it's just called the feet just got tangled up there. There was a little bit of faint there from Butler. Getting dragged in, you know, dragged into the, yeah, sure, to the yeah. fight. Do you know what I mean? Oh. It's just about the first time he's missed with the left hook tonight, Butler, that one. The left hand there from Garcia. How, how much of this, Barry, do you think is, is Garcia dragging Butler into a fire? How much is it yeah, Butler think, have taken a rest and, and inviting it? No, I think so. He said, have said that. I think, I think Butler did want to stand his ground and show you know, that, that he's, he can fight inside and he's physically strong. But I think it is just the, the rhythm of, of Garcia's works that you know, forced him to, to hold his feet. And also, that's lovely there. The, just sees the clumsy right hand thrown by Garcia and just skips the other way, makes him fall through the ropes. But then sits on the ropes and Garcia goes to work. And again, a lot of the shots being blocked. But for me, in this round and the last round as well, enough too many for, for, on Butler's side got from Garcia got through. And I think that movement really happened because Garcia is getting too used to. This is where he wants it. On the ropes and the pressure, working that body. And that's the that was the angle that we couldn't see as well. Yeah. So they was getting it. They yeah, were. they were. Yeah. And you can see why he's gone the distance. He's gone 10 rounds with two guys who fought world champions, so you can kind of see why. 10 punch combinations at the final bell. That was that was a great fight and a great engine show there for Paul Bucker. Howard Foster has scored the point contest 95 points to 94 in favour of Billy Bowles. Howard Garcia. Michael Alexander has scored the contest 96 points to 94 in favour of Paul Woodley. Phil Edwards has scored the contest 97 points to 92 in favour of your winner by split decision and the new WBO International Bantamweight Champion from Ellesmere.